This is Miss Matilda from Amasada Gavioli, and my special guest tonight is Svenva. Hi, Sven. It's very a pleasure to meet you. Hello, especially in a place like Ambassada Gavioli. So, welcome Slovenia. Is it your first time here? Oh no, I've come here since many, many years. Well, first I want to say my congratulations, because I know two years ago you celebrated 30 years as DJ. So, when have you started to make producer your song? Oh, well, my song was, uh, my first song was 1985, but when I started as a DJ it was 1981. Long career. Very long, yes. And have you ever received bad criticals about your production? Well, there's always, you will always have people who maybe don't like what you do, but uh, I'm happy that the most of the people, especially my fans, of course, they always followed my music and my style. And how did you feel when people say something that is not nice? I don't care. Really? So, now I want to talk about your label, Cocon, because it's not just a label, but it's a new concept. Uh, it's the perfect melting pot, even Boke and Label 2. So how is to manage all this world? Well, I started my cocoon company, my agency, in the year of 1998. And at the beginning, I started as a booking agency. And then after the booking agency, I started with, um, with club nights, with cocoon nights. And then I started with Cocoon Recordings in the year of 2000. And actually it's just happening now in the moment that we are releasing our 100th release. It's a very nice release and it comes in the box with exclusive tracks by Ricardo Villalobos, Andre Galuzzi, Extra Welt, Lawrence and so on. And there's slip mats in the box and CDs in the box, of course vinyl. And yeah, in the year of 1999, I started with my Ibiza cocoon night at Amnesia. And since that, things were growing naturally. We were doing more and more events, more and more artists joined us at cocoon bookings. We're doing festivals all over the world now. We're releasing good music, we're releasing vinyl, and. Uh, of course, also digital, but um, our DJs, we have about more or less almost 30 DJs, and the most of them, they play vinyl, uh, so it's, uh, we are kind of old school when it comes um, to, to DJing, and yeah, well, you know, this, um, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, Cocoon is a weekend feeling now for the people, you know, Cocoon is a lifestyle for, for, for clubbers, for people who follow our music. And that's something very nice that uh, if the people listening, if they hear the word Cocoon, they think about sound, they think about dance, they think about fashion, they think about, you know, a proper yeah, good weekend. Uh, and that's... Uh, Many people copy that. <laughs> it will be the future of the labels, maybe. Anyway, it was very a great summer at Amnesia, Ibiza. So another great season, which is, uh, you know, which is the key success for a long continuity like this. Well, I'm just, uh, um, I'm still the same, you know. I still get inspired by new music. I'm still, um, I still love to focus on the quality of my production in everything and Ibiza is for me a very spiritual place. I'm living there now and I have my family there and um, I had the chance when I was 16 years old to have my big experience in Ibiza in the clubs and they were all open air clubs that time. Which was the name? Yeah, Amnesia, Amnesia, Ku, um, Gloris, and because of that, I was so inspired. Imagine, I was 16. I came back home and I, I told my mother about what I experienced, yeah. and she asked me if I want to become a DJ. Oh, that's good. 1981, and then I started DJing in my parents' club, 
in Frankfurt. And today I'm running my night in Ibiza and I have the chance to give all this back, you know, all this, this uh, special um, spirit I've always get when I'm there with the people. There's no place in the world like in Ibiza where you have so many um, party experts, you know, really people who come only for the music and for the sound and they like to dance and listen. And Sony is the capital of all in music. Ah, well, it is definitely of dance, yes. Do you think it's changed when it is here? Yes, it changed a lot because there's a, a more clubs are open now and they have this beach club which is quite popular now and there's a lot of commercial DJs coming now. Everyone wants to have his own night in Ibiza, every DJ and every DJ is like oh, big egos, big competition and this changed a little bit of the vibe and there's also a lot of strange people coming now uh, to Ibiza who who think Ibiza is Las Vegas or Ibiza is Miami but it's not, Ibiza is Ibiza Wesbank, I know you make a declaration, an interview at uh, insomniafed.com and you said when I started out playing at Dorian Gray, I regularly had to fight for my one hour of music, always hoping that the boss would not suddenly crawl up behind me, shaking his finger at my track selection. So is this true? Yes, yeah. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. seems, seems a very funny story. Well, it's not funny. In, 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 in back in the days, uh, when you had a residency in, in a club, um, as a DJ, you had you had you had to follow the rules of the club, and the clubs uh, that time, especially Dorian Gray, it was a it was a, a proper big glamorous club, yeah. And they had their crowd, they had a very adult crowd, and they had also some paradise birds, let's say transvestites and gay people and. So they all wanted to hear their music and um, they wanted to hear the pop music, the chart music and the disco music. But I had also my own yeah. uh, vision of what I wanted to play and um, well I did, but it was not always easy. So it was not easy in the beginning, but and now you know that at the moment it is more easy to produce music, but at the same time it is very difficult to stand out from the crowd. So which is the best strategy for a new producer to uh, catch the attention of biggest name or biggest labels? Well, you have to be good. That's so just talented? That is, you have to be talent, you have to be good, you have to be different, special, and you should have also patience, you yeah. know. I think that's the, 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 the most important, that is that you have patience and you're not just want to have everything now and yeah. everything you know the young time. people now we, many of them they don't they don't have they don't they cannot wait anymore you know they want to have everything yesterday oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah well uh, but i think the talent and and also especially if you buy if you if you if you produce dance music i think you should love dancing and you should yeah. also I'm gonna say. how to know to entertain a crowd if you want to entertain as a DJ a crowd and you should know you know the beat you play and you know take the people on the journey and yeah it's not so easy as it looks like Sven thank you so much for this interview it's time for you so really thank you thank you for this time thank you